will want to inspect and clean your AirPick vacuum gripper on a monthly basis. So the first thing you want to do is turn off the robot and then remove it from the coupling. Remember that the air pick is not waterproof, so you will want to clean it with a dry and clean towel. So simply remove any excess of dust that could be found on it. And at the same time, you want to inspect for any damage. I want to give an extra attention to the pins, the contact pins underneath. Make sure that this part is nice and clean. And you want to do the same thing on the coupling end. Now you also want to have a look at the input filter. So I'm simply removing the suction cup or the manifold if you have the two or four suction cup configuration. And you want to have a look, take a look at this filter Make sure that it's nice and clean, that it doesn't contain any dust. So if this filter needs cleaning or replacement, you'll want to use a set of snap ring pliers and remove the snap ring to be able to access the filter. Now that the snap ring has been removed, you want to take out the mesh filter. So if you're lucky, just turning it upside down like this will get it out of there. If not, you'll have to uh, go get it maybe with long nose pliers or I like to use a pair of tweezers. Um, this might damage it though, so don't do that if you don't have a new one on hand. So now you can clean, replace it, and put the snap ring back in place.